Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try to reattempt this whole vlogging this experience thing. My hair looks a little crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, it is, what is today? Monday, February 15th. It's 5 o'clock a.m. I've been up since 4. So last night, I only have three Percocets left, and I'm trying to save them for my massages as much as possible. So I've just been taking Tylenol, and I'll show you guys which Tylenol. Ugh. This one. So it's the muscle aches and pains one. And at night, I've been taking Tylenol PM. And so last night, I took it at 8. And I passed out at 8 and woke up at 4. So that's, that's 8 hours of sleep. So I'm like good to go. I usually run on less than that. Like because usually I take Anna to school. We're supposed to take turns. But I don't mind because I get up early anyways. And I don't go to bed till like 12 or 1 and I'm up at like 6. So I'm used to running on like 5 or 6 hours. So this is like, I am energized. <laughs> so I was, I went to the kitchen to get some food. Well, to get, I got an applesauce, a granola bar, and a Pop-Tart, Pop-Tart though. I was trying not to eat it and I didn't eat it, thank goodness. Because Angel actually woke up because I was wrestling so much. And he came over here and no, I didn't get up and go right away i waited like an hour since i woke up at four i waited like 45 minutes and then i just could not be in the bed anymore i was just getting really uncomfortable and i was trying to find ways to sleep on my side and i think i found a way so i'm pretty excited to try that tonight but anyway so i was in here eating with the lights off and stuff and angel woke up because of the paper because i had a granola bar and he was cracking up and he's like what are you doing because i'm like on my knees sitting down this is like my eating position and so he was like what are you doing what time is it and i was like i'm hungry and he was like do you want me to go get you some breakfast so he went to go get us some food right now i'm just gonna have a bacon egg and cheese biscuit i really want a biscuit more than anything i just hope it doesn't upset my tummy and i'm gonna make us a coffee with some coffee i have my post my second well, I guess this is my last post-op appointment at 6.30, so we're going to leave at 6, so we still have a little bit of time, which works out because I really don't like to go anywhere until I use the restroom, and with all this that's happened, it's like messed me up, messed my tummy up, so I'm nervous that I'm going to have to go when I'm there, and like whenever I have to pee, I can't hold it. I don't know why I cannot hold my pee anymore. Like as soon as I feel like I have to go, I have to get up. And so I'm nervous that that's going to happen there. And it's cold. It's like 40 degrees. So I think I'm going to wear some pants. And so I'm like, great. I'm going to have to get out of my pants if we're somewhere else. Um, but yeah, that's going to suck. So I'm going to try. I'm just going to drink the rest of that water bottle. And then I'm not going to drink any more water until we get back. So um, the pain has not been that bad. My back has just been sore. It just, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like... You really want to stretch it out, but you can't because it's like really tight. That's what it feels like. And it feels like it's pinching. And then sometimes I get like weird little pins and needles on my butt. And that feels really weird. And I'll just like try to move my faja to make sure it's not compressing it. Because I think it's compressing it too much at the top. But I'm going to ask them today if they can check it. And then I'm also going to tell them today about a revision. And we'll see how that goes. Because I did want more hips more than anything. Like that's what I wanted. But I also know that I have very inelastic skin. And I had really bad hip dips. So I don't know if there really was anything more that she could do for me. And also I was already a big girl. So the light bulb that she did was amazing. And I put on a bra. Let's see if I can take you into the bathroom. I really don't want to wake the kids up. But yeah, I put on a bra. But it's just like a bralette. And it goes all the way around. And it doesn't feel too tight. It actually feels good. I'm really itchy. So I took some allergy medicine. And I hope that'll help. But I, I heard that kind of nothing helps. So. <laughs> I love the way it's looking. I just need to learn how to compress this tighter. Like, I don't know if I could go tighter because um, it's like both on my hips. I need to bring it up. Um, I don't know if I could go tighter. Like, how to go tighter because of the foams in the board. But I saw this one lady doing it on YouTube. She had, like, six foams in there. Oh, I really don't want to check the scale up right now. I'm just going to do a nice little French braid. Oh, one of the things that I 
guess I didn't think about was, and I didn't know until I had surgery, was all of the fluid that goes into your crack. And that to me was probably the grossest part because it's like wet and like you really can't get in between your cheeks because like your cheeks are hard as rocks first of all. They are not moving. And so what I would do is go from underneath <laughs> and just two inch chicken line to try to dry it out because I would just feel so nasty and uncomfortable and like, you know, with like blood and stuff, so it was just gross. But I figured out how to dry it. So then I didn't have to worry about it because uh, the last thing I wanted was to get Rosada, how do you say that in English? Um, a rash. Yeah, the last thing I wanted was to get it, have to deal with having a rash on top of all this stuff and you're compressed and everything all up in there all day. I was like, oh no. And then I'm kind of nervous because I'm supposed to start my cycle next week and I'm just trying to think logistically how everything is going to work out with like the Faja and then underwear and like I use, I wear the cups. I'm going to finish this spray and I'll show you guys what I use. But I used to do just tampons and then I switched to the cups, but every now and then I'll do a tampon, but anyways. I use these. They're the Flex Cups, and they're amazing. But sometimes at night, I do need, like, more. Like, I'll, I'll need a pad. And so I'm just like, oh, this guy's so uncomfortable. But I'm gonna try doing this out. Thankfully, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Also, did your hair fall out after surgery? Because I swear I've been losing so much hair. And I don't know why. No, that's not Billy. She's already making noises. She said, good morning. How are you? Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. We didn't do anything. We just, okay, this is lopsided. But it is what it is. Let's see what's going to Let me fix it because it's going to bother me. Okay. I can move my butt a little bit now, so that's pretty exciting too. Okay, I'm going to make some coffee and hopefully Andrew will be back with breakfast by then. Angel's back with breakfast. I'm definitely gonna regret eating this. Like just the oil is definitely gonna hurt my belly. He got Duncan. I got McDonald's. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all how much I hated these socks. The compression socks. I slept without them again last night. I know I shouldn't, but they're so uncomfortable. I don't even have like fat legs. They just, I can't imagine if I had chunkier legs. That'd be the worst. Thank you. <laughs> Are you out of breath? <laughs> oh, OTD for my appointment. It's cold and I had a sweater on, but I was like burning up. So I'm just gonna do this. So let's go. I just woke up from a nap. Um, all I've done today is shower. And I went to my appointment where all they did was take pictures of me standing up. And they said that I was looking really good. And that's it. It's something that I didn't know before. Was how much your jaws hurt. Like your jaw hurts from laying down. And from being on your belly. And the positioning, it's hard. But yeah, I'm down to only two Percocets, and I'm not sure what time I'm getting my uh, massage today. I'm just glad that we don't have to open the incisions anymore. And my hair looks still crazy, so I lay on my belly a lot, and I guess it's rubbing off on the people. <laughs> And I know I've been eating enough. Comentalo. I feel so sick. Day six, post up. More bed footage. Yesterday I didn't really do anything. Yesterday I was really sore though. Because I didn't take my Percocet all day. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, just been hanging out. I love how my hair always looks just crazy. Anyways. So I was gonna go today to Lingerie Mart to get my new Faja, a smaller one because this one just isn't compressing me enough and I need to get all this fluid off of me. 
but they close at five so i don't know when we're gonna be able to go or else i'm gonna have to go by myself which i haven't tried to get in the car so that kind of makes me nervous today i've been sleeping a lot i've been in a lot of pain just a lot of soreness because i don't have like the percocets anymore it's just straight tylenol now i'm sitting on the i'm getting more used to sitting on it but i tried not to for that long just to get my my back a break but i have a really bad headache i haven't been drinking enough water today and it's just like oh it's just a hassle sometimes to drink water because then you have to get up once you're comfortable and i feel like i've used i'm using like all the pillows that we own like i have them accommodated all around me and i'm just like oh my gosh two more weeks of this because you can't lay on your hips until week three that's gonna suck mm -hmm. cool. i'm in so much pain and I can't get relief like any which way. My head is pounding. Just like waiting until nine o'clock so I can take my medicine again because I cannot. I had to take my ab board off because I was so uncomfortable and just so like sore. And I put a cami on under my faha today. The cami is coming down to like, I was able to pull it up some, but it's coming up down to here. And so that's like right at the top of my like butt. So I'm nervous that it's gonna leave a line because everything's been leaving lines on me. Because this girl, I saw her video and she had a line right under her breasts from the this lipo film, this one. And then today my massage there, my massage lady, she told me to pull up like my belly as much as I could. Like, oh, I wish I could show you guys. Like I don't have a lot hanging, but um, I have like a little pooch, like a very little pooch still. And so she told me to like pull it up, like with the faha, like with the foam, sorry. But the thing is that my faha isn't tight enough. So that's why I wanted to go get the other one, but they close at five, so I couldn't go today. So. I'm just gonna have to go a day that I can drive. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, somebody asked me to do like a things I didn't expect kind of video. I think that's what she said. Um, and so I definitely am because there were a lot of things that I just didn't know. Even watching a million videos and doing all my research, like, still. So I'm gonna wait. And uh, I know I'm definitely not eating enough protein that I need to be. And you're supposed to be feeding the fat, I know, but, and I've been like kind of eating like whatever I wanted, but my mother-in-law has been such a saint and she has been helping us and cooking for us. And um, she makes, I mean, they're like homemade meals, you know, and she's not making like fried stuff, like she'll do it in the um, oven and stuff. But I've still been snacking. Yesterday at night, uh, Angel got me some fruit, he got me some cereal, and then he made me two rice cakes with peanut butter and banana, and I was like, then I got sick because it was too much food, but that's my own fault. <laughs> yeah, and we should have got on lipo. Oh yeah, and the thing that I would say about like do adding on things, I wouldn't. Like if you're like kind of like, oh this is for my lipo phones. I am not that big. Um, if you're gonna do BBL and you're kind of on the bigger side, or even just like you just have a bit of belly and you want them to take out as much as possible, there's a certain amount that they can take out. So if you're adding on something else, like that takes away from how much they can take away from your belly. Like for me, she even told me like that she might not even be able to get to my back, but she did. And she even did like my upper bra, bra strap area, which I'm so thankful for as well. So just be cautious of that whenever you're deciding what all you want to do. But I would go back separately. Um, I'm thinking about doing Kybella here because I've seen like some amazing results, but I don't know about doing lipo or just like, I'm still doing arm exercises and stuff. And I'm so ready to exercise. I just feel so freaking bored all the time. That's what it comes down to. You're so freaking bored. I feel like I've literally watched anything and everything that I can possibly watch. Okay, can I go eat a piece of pound cake?
before you go buying stuff, go to the thrift store and get you some robes. And your mama? Yes, Tito. Look, I am bruised like all the way. Oh yeah, I took my faja off for a little bit. All the way down my thighs. Okay, let's see how this time. Because I did ask, oh, look at that cheek popping out. <laughs> I did ask mostly for hips, right? And they're starting to, you can see it going out right there. So I'm liking it a little bit more, a lot more. Just a process. Oh, this is the little pooch I was talking about. I guess I can show you guys my belly now. Okay. See this right here? Yeah, I'm really bruised right down there. Um, she told me to pull it up with the foam. So I need to do that. But I just wanted to break for a little bit. <sighs> And then I'm gonna put this everything back on. I'm actually waiting for my other Faha to wash. Hey y'all, today is day six. Um, I wanted to show y'all how my bruising is coming along. Oh, my bae. It's getting better. For sure getting better. And this is the other side. I changed. I'm waiting for my Faha. 1,200 cc's, baby. Oh my gosh. Mono, get off of her. Mono. Mono, no. Sharkisha, no. <laughs> Did you see him kick her? Uh, uh, hey, no. Okay. okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> he never makes it. He still tries to. Anna, move. Oh my. He can hit you if you're too close to him. Mama, Oh my god. I think you have to find it. Hey guys, so it is day. Eight post op. Sorry, I didn't vlog anything yesterday or record, but I went out with my sister in law to go look for a stage two faha or something smaller than the one that I have. And I was out of my faha for like two and a half hours. And when I got back, I was exhausted and I napped literally all day. Then I couldn't go to sleep until like 3 a.m. <sighs> but I had a massage and then we taped my belly today so that it doesn't like sag or anything. And I'm starting to love the way that my curves are coming in. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Um, I haven't taken a shower yet, but whenever I do, I will try to record something. Oh my gosh. Let me go check on the baby. <laughs> No, we don't want chicken butt. Better <laughs> follow my tiptoes, you can't see me. <laughs> Babe, I don't have it. Yeah, say you do, it's a song. Is it? It's a chicken butt song. I've never heard <laughs> that song. I just made it up. And why would you make it up? <laughs> it's the worst.
So I thought it would be a good idea to drive today. Well, I really didn't have an option because I had to pick up my daughter from school. Uh, but it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Like under your thighs, like the booty pillow, first of all, is just really uncomfortable. And then, like I just can't get, like my back can't get comfortable. I'm like sitting like straight up. I wish I could show you guys, but I can't. But this sucks. And the baby fell asleep. And I came way too early. Like I should have just waited till like 2.15 to get over here. But oh, it is what it is. I just want to get home. Um, I passed out. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock. I passed out. I was so exhausted because I had to drive to pick up Anna. And that wore me out. Oh my gosh, it was so painful. But anyway, so I decided I'm going to do the waist training thing. Because at first everybody was like, oh no, you need the compression in your butt. But for what? Like, for why? For who? Not for me. So I just now ordered my waist trainers. Amazon is so annoying. I ordered two. Because they were like 20 bucks. So I ordered two different ones. And it's like, oh, pay $11 to get it next day. I was like, yes. And then after I did that, it was like not getting here till Sunday. So now I'm like, what the heck? I mean, whatever it is, what it is. I canceled my Amazon Prime. So I guess that's my fault too. But yeah, I'm just going to waste train because... Mm -mm. Oh, what's up? Snatched. Snatched, 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 snatched. I am loving my results now for sure. Late night tea. Thumbnail. Mm, I took off my phone haul and I just put on my like sweat belt thing. But I put my phone under it. Because I was so itchy. I told you guys I got taped up. And the tape is making me just so uncomfortable under the faja. And so I'm just like, whatever. I'm done with it. I'm going to try to be. If I like swell up like crazy, like my legs and stuff, then obviously like, no. I'll put it back on. But yeah, I'm just still so been really sore. My back is pretty swollen still. I can feel like the fluid whenever I touch it. But the top of my butt is like soft now. The bottom is still really hard. I just drank some pineapple juice too. But I'm all out. Oh, and oh man, I threw away the ones that I had. But I bought the little ones. Let's see if I have one in the pantry. I don't think so. I know. But I bought the little ones instead of having to like pour myself some, you know, and it'd just be more convenient. So I need to get more of those tomorrow. And I'm going to get some bendy straws because it's just easier to drink water like when you're laying down and stuff and if it's just a little thing that can make you feel better like why not just do it you know my back is really itchy too and i did just put the arnica cream on my bruises all over hopefully that'll help too and i took some tylenol the pain and muscle one i just can't get off of everything completely yet i'm still really sore and i have a pretty high pain tolerance too but this is a whole nother level a whole nother level but yeah then i'm gonna end this here so this is day eight and i don't think i'm gonna be like recording every day even like little snippets as much anymore um i'm gonna try to do more like themed videos like things i wish i would have known things i bought like things that i wish i would have bought you know things like that that'll help you guys out more and then I'm going to start my waist training thing too. So I'll start that whole journey as well and let you guys know how that goes. If it even works out. If not, I might just have to stick with the stage one Faha or get it like taken in, whatever. But my legs feel so free. And I know it was compressing me too much on the sides too. And so you guys know that I was being a huge crime review about my hips. So I feel like this is definitely just a better thing for me and what I want my results to be. Cause um, I think I can show you guys. And this is mine, just like sweat belt. And then I have, I just have the one tall one. I didn't put the side ones in cause I couldn't hold them. But I think for tonight that'll be fine. And then, so if the things don't come in from Amazon tomorrow, 
tomorrow's Friday. I'm just really impatient. I should just wait till Sunday. But I'm kind of tempted to just go and buy a waist trainer. Um, they had some at that lingerie mart place that I went to with my sister-in-law the other day. But I don't know if I can stand driving that far. And I do need to go to Walmart tomorrow as well. So I'm going to try to do that. Walmart isn't that far. Is that my nose? But yeah, and as far as the diet goes, I have not been good and everybody's like oh it's fine like just like feed your fat but i'm nervous about feeding this fat or like my arm fat like that's what i'm nervous about because i'm not trying to get those places bigger but i'm also not trying to lose what she gave me because it's like then what was the point like what was the reason so i don't know what to do oh no the sour cream is out um but i mean like i haven't been eating out i only had I've only eaten fast food once this week, and that was with my sister-in-law. We had Chick-fil-A. So I've just been eating, like, home-cooked meals by my mother-in-law. Nothing fried. Everything's been, like, boiled or baked in the oven. But I've been snacking a lot. Like, I had two bags of chips today. My Girl Scout cookies that I had ordered came in, so I ate a whole bunch of those. Like, whenever I'm hungry, I eat. Like, I'm not... Um, I'm just gonna be hungry like that to me is just crazy i'll try to make smarter choices like i'll eat a granola bar or a yogurt or something first and if i'm still hungry i'm like okay i need something of sustenance and sometimes i'm like i just want a treat like i'm, I'm just going through it like <laughs> let me just get something sweet i really need to get my eyebrows done i did the bottom what i could Ugh, and then I'm supposed to start my period like tomorrow and the day after and I'm just nervous. I wonder if having this done affects your cycle. I guess you guys will know after to see if it happens because my calendar says I think I'm supposed to have it tomorrow or the day after. But I'm not cramping and usually I cramp before. But I also know that compressing and stuff helps. Like I know some girls are like die hard like wear your faha. I have to have a kid wear your faha. When you're on your days, before you're on your days, wear your faha so maybe that's why too but i don't know could just be you know just mom talk but yeah um i know this is gonna be all over the place but i hope it gives you guys some insight into just my day-to-day -day and how it's been it's been really up and down to be honest and i honestly thought that it was going to be a lot easier like i thought i was going to be driving on monday we're thursday and driving today was so painful and it's like a pain you can't explain because your butt like your butt doesn't hurt but whenever you put like a little bit of pressure on it like it hurts and it's just sore and then i'm glad that i have the car that i have um because i can put the seat down pretty low like height wise so i can get in easily because if i had a car or something smaller i really don't think I think it'd be very, very hard for me to drive or have to drive. But tomorrow, if I pick up my daughter, I am not making the same mistake. And I'm going to go pick her up like right at like maybe five minutes before. Because today, oh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. Well, it's like midnight. So I'm going to stop this here. And I don't know when I'll post another video. But I, oh, yeah. Highly recommend Nurse Nikki. Highly, highly, highly recommend her. She is amazing. Um, she's an amazing deal. She said she wasn't going to change her prices, so I don't think she would mind if I say her prices. But just in case, just get your pricing first from her. But she's doing five massages. I think it was $375, and that includes her driving to you. And taping is $70, um, and I got taped up today. And I don't know how long it... She said it lasts like about five days or so. Um... But my tummy is like snatched because she did that. So I guess we'll see. There is one part of the tape that's coming off because I did shower. And after the shower, I just got the blow dry and I blow dried it because it was still pretty wet. And I didn't want to put like the, the foams and stuff against that because that was like weird. But anyways, she is so sweet. She's so nice. She lets you take breaks if you need it. But she also like does what she needs to do. She gets it all out for you. And she's just so sweet and funny. Like... <laughs> I like her a lot. I'm really glad that um, she is a part of my post-op care. And I will be buying five more massages from her. We're either going to resume Monday or Tuesday. She's going to let me know Sunday. So I need to send her my deposit. Because you can send her the deposit for the days. And then the day of your first one, everything is due. Like the whole amount is due. 
so yeah if you guys want to book her book her because she said people are already booking her for july so she's really good but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this